It's time to get zany artsy, time to create like crazy. Draw, paint, sculpt a day with zany artsy. It's time to get zany artsy, time to create like crazy. With your hoes and wah, we say voila, it's zany artsy. Zany artsy. Zany artsy. Welcome to another episode of Zany Artsy. I'm your host, Zanwa. Yes, it's me again, and you're glad to see me. Admit it. So, for today's show, I'm not going to lie to you, it's going to be a long one. So, if you plan to just watch, get your popcorn. If you plan to work along, get your things. But first, before I do that, I want to say welcome to my new watchers and welcome to my new subscribers. And yes, my oldie but goodie subscribers, thank you for keeping the channel alive as you always do. Bless up. So, for today's project... We're basically concentrating on something that I'm doing with my grade four students. Yeah, because they're studying the Tainos or the Tainos. If you want to find a history on that, Google it, YouTube it, something. But I'm not a historian, so I would totally mislead you in all this info. But I knew that they lived in something, and that's what we're going to be doing today. What are we doing, you're asking? Simple. We are going to be making a hut one, hut two, hut, 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 hut. Yes, we are making huts today. Yes, we are making a hut. Uh, now, disclaimer, this is not my hut. I did not make this hut, okay? One of my students made it like two years ago. So shout out to the artist Jordan Annual. Awesome hut, still strong and sturdy. Anyways... So, you're going to be needing a lot of equipment for this, because it's going to be a lot of stuff to do, for it's a long project. So, first things first, you're going to need your cardboard. Yes, we are sculpting. We are literally going to be making something today, so paper is not making an appearance today. Oh, So, yes, you're going to need your cardboard. Your masking tape, scissors, liquid, and stick glue. Yeah, you gotta have the two glues because it depends on what you're doing. Um, oh yes, cartridge paper, or for the Americans, construction paper. Yes. And you're gonna need paint, of course. You're gonna need your paint and paint brushes. And a bucket, and newspaper, and paper. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, look at that. Paper done snuck into my equipment list. Yes, it did. Always be sneaking. So, yes, I will just write a list, like, brrr, because I know we're not going to remember all of those things that I just listed. So, yeah, here's a list again, right here. Here's a list. Here's a list. Okay. So, we're just going to move on down into it because it's going to be a long, 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 long video. All right. So, in the words of myself, let's get to First thing you must do is cut the box open. Here are some diagrams that shows where to cut, which is represented by the red dashed lines. I will be using a carton box for my hut. After the box is cut open, I then cut off a section of it that I will be using for the hut. You don't want to make it too tall or too short, as you need a suitable surface area to work with.
Once you have cut your cardboard into a good size rectangle, you can use a ruler for this step. You will then roll it into a coil. If your box has writing on it, make sure that part of the cardboard is facing away from your body before rolling it. Press firmly against the top and using your fingers, you then push the cardboard towards your belly and roll it tightly. As you can see, I have a lot of belly muscles to work with, so yeah, I have secret abs. Don't be hating. Once rolled, release the coil. Before gluing, place newspaper on your work surface as things will get messy at this point. Rub glue on each end of the cardboard. Then stick both ends together, pinching firmly until it holds in place. Make sure at least one side is lined up properly, as this will be the base for your hut. Then for extra security, tape it down with masking tape. Once you have a cylinder shaped, make sure to use a piece of cardboard that can cover the top of the cylinder. Then hold the cylinder firmly on top and trace around it with a pencil. Once drawn, cut it out.
Now we will tape the circle to the top of the cylinder. Make sure that each piece of tape is placed firmly onto each part of the roof and the sides. Always pull tightly. Trim off any excess. Try to ensure the shapes remain circular. Once the roof is taped down, wrap a band of tape around it to seal off any gaps and add extra security. So it is sealed as a drum. Now it is time to cut a doorway. Never cut where you have joined the two flaps. The doorway should be half of the height. Once drawn, cut it out. Then cut a small strip of cardboard to make the lift of the roof. Roll into a coil, then glue the ends together. Then tape for extra security. Glue and tape the small cylinder on the center of the roof. Make sure to press the tape against the shape of it. The tape must reach the body of the hut. Rub glue on the top edges to secure it even more. Always do a shake test to ensure it's secure. For this stage, you're going to need newspaper, a bucket, more paper. I'm using a receipt paper roll.
This is the easiest step. All you have to do is rip up the paper. Then put water on it and let it soak for about 10 minutes. Now that your paper is soaked, apply glue to each strip and place it on the areas that are taped. Never put the glue in water. To place properly around the edges, tear the lower half of the paper in half and paste overlapping each other. Make sure to cover the seam on the side. Rub another layer of glue over it for extra security. Once complete, leave it to dry. <sighs> it's really late, so I'm heading to bed. Good night, y'all. On a large piece of cartridge paper, draw a circle that is wider than the hut. For this stage, you can use a compass, but I don't have one, so yeah, this will do. Then cut out the circle. Make a dot in the center of the circle, then cut a straight line leading towards it.
Then pull the cut edge over the other as far as you like to make a cone shape. Okay, okay. I noticed my circle needed to be more circular, so luckily I had a plate I could trace to make the shape even better. Cut a small snip sideways as this will come in handy later. After forming the cone shape, test to make sure it fits properly on top of the hut. Then put glue on the edges and form the cone shape sealing the edges down properly. Trim off any excess. Cut small slits at the top of the cone and fold the flaps over. Slide the cone down onto the mini cylinder at the top of the hut. Then glue the cut areas to the mini cylinder, always pinch and hold in place. Once the top is dry, cut tiny flaps at the edge, then glue them down onto the sides of the hot body.
always rub glue on the edges for extra security, then leave it to dry. Now that the roof is safe and secure, it is time to put on the base paint. You will need a bucket of water, white paint, and a large brush. Don't forget to spread newspaper. Just simply paint all of the hut, except the roof. Don't paint the roof! Then allow the paint to dry. Here is my intended design for my hut. Using a pencil, carefully draw your design onto the body of the hut. After you have completed drawing on your design, it is time to carefully paint in every area. Take your time at this part. Always test to see if the paint is bright enough for the piece. Upon testing, I realized the paint would take me forever to achieve the quality color I wanted, so I had to switch using my bottles of flat emulsion paint. If all you have is poster paints, you may have to apply a second coat after the first coat is dried. I mix my paints to get the desired color for my hut. Now I shall carefully paint in each area. Remember, art is a marathon, not a sprint. I painted some sections of cartridge paper to the color I wanted and cut them into strips. Then using stick glue, I paste them on individually, making sure to cover all the base.
you can cut the strips in half to fill in some of the gap areas. After you are complete with filling all the roof, you glue two small pieces of strips to help seal the top. Trim the edges of the roof to make them a bit more even-like. Then for extra security, rub glue all over the roof. And here is our final hut. Thank you for watching. a long haul but we finally finished yes thank you if you made it this far into the video you are an absolute trooper yes small claps oh the sweat is real i tell you that was a lot of hard work anyways so now we are getting to my favorite favorite little section yes everybody's favorite little artsies why because i get to showcase all the hard work beautiful artwork that my subscribers and just plain viewers have been sending in but if you want your things featured on my channel yes your artwork your sculptures yeah art in general send your things to this email right here you see it it's right here i put it up every week why are you gagging so we're just gonna run on to it so oh, what was i always say again oh jesus I have got to learn to remember my script. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hit it. Tony and Scott. Bringing you abstract painting. Leah Watt. Giving you books and llama. Yelene Magalhães. Perspective and showing face. Profile. Jordan Williams. Digital painting patterns. 
Zoe Prendergast, Digital Painting, Night Sky. Noah Williams, Digital Painting, Masquerade. Sydney Tollock, giving us Digital Painting, Midnight Sky. And our big little artist, Christina Plummer, giving us Just Face It. Thank you all for watching another episode of Zadie Artsy. I'm your host, Zen Wall. And please do remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can see whenever I do push out another episode, which is whatever, because, yeah, it's a lot of work. I ain't going to lie about it. And I got my regular work that I'm going to try my best not to get fired from. Yay me. So I'll see you next time. Go get you some rest. Wash your hands. Sanitize. Mask up. Eat good food for goodness sake. Drink some milk and drink some, um, what's that thing called again? Orange juice. So, so I'll um, see you next time. Bye, 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 bye. Bye. It's time to get semi artsy. Time to create like crazy. Draw, paint, sculpt a day with semi artsy. It's time to get semi artsy. Learn to create like crazy with your hoes and wah. Who say voila? It's any artsy, any artsy, any artsy.